Hey guys, this is Joe over at Synergy 17 and today I'm going to show you how to use script fonts. Um, this is kind of like the one I we did up for the membership on December 2019 and January to, uh, 2020. So I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to use those. So in December of last year, or of 2019, I did capital letters for the fonts. And for January of 2020, I did the lowercase. So you can see that here. So the first thing I want to do is take the shape tool. And you can see the handles here. I'm going to grab the handles. And I'm going to bring it over closer. Then I can grab this here for the kerning on this. Um, what I want to do is, you see the tail of the script. I want to uh, kind of overlap them a bit. So you can see the the A and the R, I'm going to bring those over each other. And I could always do a little adjusting later, but um, I want that one and the same here. So, you know, that's, that's done. Um, what you want to do is you want to convert this to curves, ungroup it, break it apart. But I'm going to use my little uh, macro here to select the right rhinestone size I want, which is SS10. So, I'm going to resize that and exit. And then also, uh, to do this, I'm going to switch back and forth between wireframe and enhance mode. So I've, I've made the W and the Q short shortcut so I can just kind of go back and forth real quick. So anyways, I'm going to go zoom in here. And on the R, I'm going to follow this along. So this looks good, but I don't want, want these extra ones. So I'm going to delete that one, delete that one, delete that one, and delete that one. And if I don't like the spacing right there, I can just highlight these circles and bring them a little closer. Same thing here, where the O and the V are. I'm going to delete this guy, this one, and I'll leave that alone. And I also want to bring my A and R a little closer. So I'm going to take those and just move it over a bit. And then that's perfectly fine with me. So uh, another quick question someone asked me is, how do I do the uh, mock-ups and look, make it look more realistic? So I use a, another macro for that. I'm going to make this black. Shift page down, moves it to the back. I'm going to highlight everything. I know you can't see it, but I know it's there. I'm going to turn it white so I can see it. And then I have this uh, mock-up macro. And I'm going to use rhinestones. I'm going to choose crystal. I'm going to apply that to the stone. And then just to give it a little more sparkle, I'm going to use a lens flare. I'm going to make like four of these. And then bam, 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 bam. And uh, you can rotate them if you want and make it a little, a little different. You can select it and resize it if you want a little smaller. But anyways, that's the way I do it. So, hope that helps.